In this tutorial, similar to my last tutorial, we had frames with a, back, a black foreground zooming in to the frames in the background. This one we're going to have a white foreground with flames in the background and zooming into the flames. So it gives you a better contrast with the white and the flames on there. So if you're interested, follow me. Right click, create three video tracks. Take the flames to the second one. Go to media generators. Select solid color. Select white, drag that. To the third track. Legacy text. Drag that to the first track. Rename this. Flames. That's fine. Now we can pause any mode. Select the multiply mask. On the third track, make compositing child. No, oh, sorry, it's wrong way. Second track, make compositing child. And go to event pen and crop. Set the cursor about six seconds and drag this all the way into the M. So now when you play it back. Gives a nice effect. It's lagging a bit because I have my best audio. So let's go preview auto. That should be faster. Using legacy text is better because what happens is when the text comes towards you, you don't get jagged edges as you do when using uh, ordinary text. Legacy text doesn't have the jagged edges just around uh, the font edges. So that's, that's why I use legacy text. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.